100 years ago, they were our future. Today, they still are. In schools all across Colorado, students learn in the same historic spaces as those who have gone before. My favorite thing about this school is because my grandma and my mom went here. It's really nice to know about the traditions that they have and how many people went here and such history behind the place. I think it's really amazing. Historic schools play a central role in education and in the community. The charter school here is really the heartbeat of this little community because whatever goes on here, we come to the school. In order to continue to sustain education in our community, we need to be able to sustain our community's pride. We do that partly by the quality of education we provide, but we also do it by preserving the treasures that were part of that education. About a quarter of Colorado's school buildings in use today are a half a century old or more, living monuments to the history of education in Colorado. In the latter half of the 19th century, schools were a signal of stability. It would be the first reason a community would get together and you'd go around and knock on your neighbor's doors and say, hey, let's try to raise the money uh, to build a school. Or, and sometimes, of course, the neighbors pitched in together and built the school themselves. As towns and cities grew, successive generations tore down old buildings to make way for the modern buildings of a new era. Schools were especially prone to demolition a result of changing educational methods, city planning, and population growth. When historic school building is demolished, at the heart of the issue is the loss of historic architecture and a sense of place. When that school is demolished to send people to a larger regional school, you lose a, a tremendous sense of community, a, a, a place of identity. In the 1970s, organized efforts to save our state's historic structures took shape. Yet many historic school buildings are still being demolished. What we hear a lot is uh, historic schools are literally falling down, basically, that they're unsafe, they're not able to be renovated to meet 21st century educational needs, and that new construction, basically, is always the better deal. From Colorado's cities to its small towns, communities are finding great value in their historic school buildings. I'm Emily, and I'm a fourth grader at Madison Exploratory School. Come on in. It's sort of a landmark for the neighborhood. It's probably one of the more important landmarks. Like, other schools don't have the opportunities that you have, like going up to the clock tower and being able to see the skyline and things like that, or being able to have a museum in your school to know about the history. This is a little bit of history about our school, and this is second grade. In 1926. I'm very impressed with this building. I mean, it is so cool. It's not only a functional building, but, but it's a beautiful building. It really is. Buildings like the old Alt High School, set to be open as a middle school, prove that beautiful old buildings can still thrive in the 21st century. The building is very up to date from a technological point of view. Uh, it's hardwired for data and computers and everything else, and you can't see the evidence of that. It's a very durable building. It's going to take the kids a lot to, uh, to be on this building. If you have the appropriate people working with you who have that expertise, then in most cases, the cost of the rehabilitation and renovation of a building is going to be less than new construction of a building. Costs can also be defrayed with the help of the State Historical Fund. Since its inception in 1993, Colorado's State Historical Fund has granted over 3,300 awards, totaling over $211 million. Nobody preserves a building all by themselves, which actually is a wonderful byproduct of historic preservation, that it pulls together, it galvanizes the community. You can talk to almost any community member and they'll say, I remember volunteering to help out. I carried old asbestos out. I carried old beams. I helped paint that wall. It's a continuity that has been created. It's not starting over. It's building on 
this community and, and children that were in this school who have contributed to this community as they've become adults. This is a meat and potato place who went after saving one of their little meat and potato buildings, and I think it speaks wondrous of them. You don't see working class buildings like a school would be being saved, and, and so I think it's important. Old is a wonderful thing. It carries a, an ambiance and a feeling tone that new doesn't always have. I think we did the right thing. I think it was very important to this community to, to save this building. It shows that we have history, and if you would t happen to tear it down, it would be like tearing down old memories. Don't tear it down, you know? Go back and do the research, fix it, and bring it back to what it was. You will never find it again. This building meant something to this community. So no matter how many pies we had to bake, we were gonna save this building, and, and we did.